the nose happens to be seen through it. Didn't you? Behold! The Willemberg! Despair? I expect it's all some sort of misunderstanding. I expect they'll release us soon, and when we get back, we can say we've seen dragons. What about that, eh? Dragons don't exist. I don't know what we're seeing, but they aren't dragons. But they carried us up in the air. In that hall there must have been hundreds. I expect it was just magic. Well, they look like dragons. I always wanted to see dragons ever since I was a little lad. Dragons flying around in the sky, breathing flames. Harun? <coughs> Let go. So, you pass the first test. What is your name, barbarian? I am Harun of Chimeria. And you? Alieza Dragon Lady. You are the lord of this place? That remains to be seen. You have the look about you of a hired sword, Harun of Chimeria. I could use you, if you pass the tests, of course. There are three of them. You have passed the first. What are the other... Two... Perilous. Excuse me? And if I fail these tests? If you had failed the first test, you would now be dead. This may be considered a typical penalty. Um, look! Take that away. OK. What is the second test? You must kill my two brothers. Good fighters, are they? Renowned. So, in return for all this, you will wed me and become Lord of the Wirrenberg. Obey? Of course, Lord. Open it. How did you get there? You summoned me, Master. I don't remember doing that. In your mind. You called me up. In your mind. You mean, I just thought of you and there you were? It was magic? Yes. But I've thought about dragons all my life. In this place, the frontier between thought and reality is probably a little confused. All I know is that once I was not, and then you thought of me, and then I was. Therefore, of course, I am yours to command. Good grief. Can you fly? Of course. What is your name, dragon? I don't know. I think I shall call you Nine Reeds. That is my name, then. Well, any suggestions? Obviously, you attack! Why didn't I think of that? Could it be because they all have crossbows? Surrender. Never! Of course he won't. 
What is your name, hero? Ah, ah, I'm Rince Windervang, and I am Leo Dragonlord. You have come to challenge me in mortal combat. Uh, well, no, I didn't. No, look, I just came here to find my friends. I'm sure there's no. You will see your friends soon enough. Look what you've got me into! Remember that I am a magic sword, and I suppose I earn my freedom if I win. Don't be naive. I suppose I should warn you that this is a magic sword. What a coincidence! <laughs> I'm dead, you know. I expect you can tell. Um, obvious, isn't it? You'd be too flower, wouldn't you? That's a fine-looking dragon, by the way. It is rather good. It just turned up. It turned up. You summoned it. Yes. Well, all I did. You have the power. All I did was think of it. That's what the power is. Have I already told you that I am Grisha the First? Anyway, yes, the power. It summons dragons, you know. But how does it? I've been thinking about dragons all my life, but this is the first time one's turned up. Ah, well, you see, the truth of the matter is that dragons have never existed as you and until I was poisoned some three months ago. I understand existence. I'm talking about the true dragon, Draconis nobilis. You understand, the true dragon is a creature of such refinement of spirit that they can only take on form in this world if they are conceived by the most skilled imagination. And even then, the said imagination must be in some place heavily impregnated with magic, which helps to weaken the walls between the world of the seen and unseen. Then the dragons pop through. When I was alive, I could imagine up to five hundred dragons at a time. Now, Eliezer, the most skilled of my children, can barely imagine fifty rather nondescript creatures. So much for progressive education. Now yours is almost as good as some of mine used to be—a sight for sore eyes. Not that I have any to speak of now. You keep saying you're dead. Well. Well, the dead—they,、um, you know, don't talk much as a rule. My daughter poisoned me, of course. It is the generally accepted method of succession in our family, but it soon became obvious that none of my three children is sufficiently powerful to wrest the lordship of the Wirrenberg from the other two. A most unsatisfactory arrangement. So. I resolved to remain alive in an unofficial capacity, which of course annoys them immensely. So it was one of them that kidnapped us, Eliza, my daughter. Her power is strongest, you know. My son's dragons are incapable of flying more than a few miles before they fade. Fade? I did notice that we could see through the one that brought us here. I thought that was a bit odd. Of course. The power only works near the Wirrenberg. As the dragons fly further away, they begin to dwindle. But I can see I mustn't keep you. I expect you'll be wanting to rescue your friend, Run. Not him, the skinny wizard. My son Leo is trying to hack him to pieces. Where is he? Just follow the pathway in the dust. Got him.